summertime settling in. Baseball parks have come alive with the excitement of the game. In 1953, a young man was about to join another league, the Negro Baseball League. Photojournalist Kathy King joined Janesville Parker High School students to look back at history through the eyes of Dennis Biddle, the youngest player to join the Negro Leagues. I graduated from high school. I knew I was going to college. I didn't have any money. I didn't know anything about the Negro Baseball League. Chicago American Giants had scouted me. They offered me a trial. They said, be in Chicago Tuesday morning, Washington Park, Diamond Number 5. My mother, she borrowed $20. My ticket to Chicago was $12. I'll never forget my mother. She hugged me, and she kissed me, and she said, baby, good luck. You know, I felt that hug and kiss all the way to Chicago. I was 17 years old, made the team, I signed the contract. My name is Dennis Biddle, by record, uh, I'm the youngest to play in the Negro Baseball League. I went to 47 South Park, where that's, that's the little dinky hotel they had for me to stay. I didn't sleep at all because the sirens and, and the people walking and talking all night long. I wasn't used to that. We left two days later for Memphis, Tennessee. And that's where I pitched my first professional baseball game. And I won the game. If you look at a lot of the older films, you will see mostly black people coming from church. The minister would turn church out early and everybody go to the ball game. See, those old men, their, their style and their technique of play it, it was exciting to the fans, you know, hit and run and bunt and run. They were mostly black. But they had a section for white. Many of those games, why he paying money to come in and call us these names? Blacks couldn't sleep in the hotel. There were many restaurants wouldn't let us come in to eat. Being called all kind of names, spit on. I learned how to deal with it. You know, those old men, they taught us how to not even hear. That was something that I, I went through and uh, I learned from it. They talk about Jackie Robinson being the first one. Jackie wasn't the first one. These old men, some of them living today picked him. They took him under their wing and they prepared him for what he was going to have to go through in the major league. Someone that understood change. And I learned a lot about life from those old men. Somehow, they were relating that to me, as though we pass this on to you, and you pass it on later. I just hope that some young person take this further than what I have. Oh, it's great to hear that talking history, isn't what it? What an opportunity for those high school great. kids. Biddle's contract, by the way, which paid him $5 a month, was bought by the Chicago Cubs in 1955. And during the Cubs' very first day of practice, he broke his leg and that ended his career. In 2005, Biddles wrote a book called Secrets of the Negro Baseball League. And today, he travels all over the country speaking about the league. And as those old players start to, we lose them, yeah. really great to hear that history. Great job by those students, too, as you mentioned. We'll be right, and Kathy King That's as well, right. our photojournalist for putting that together very nicely done.